G'day, Liam Fitzpatrick here from JML Anglers Alliance. In this video, I'm just going to walk you through a few of the basic pointers for uh, fishing lightly weighted or unweighted BP50s. So that's the Eco Gear Aqua Brim Prawn. Just fishing it on a four pound Yamatoyo leader. Uh, some of the key factors of making this technique work is, is go as light as you possibly can. So, really light leader, really light jig head, really give it a natural, unrestricted sink through the water column. So, we're just targeting some man made structure here today. Uh, we've got some boats and some docks, a few fenders, a few pylons. Just skipping casts up into the little tight gaps, into the shade, and just letting this thing sink down, do its thing. So, predominantly I look for somewhere where there's structure either side of the fish. They feel comfortable, they've got something around them the whole time. So, I'm going to aim between the dock, between the boats, try and skip it up under a few of these fenders, and just really let that bait sink unrestricted for as long as possible. Every now and then I'll come back in contact with it, bring it up a bit, and let it continue on. Um, fish are going to come out, they're going to pick that up on the drop, you're going to, you're going to see the line do a little, little tick, a little twitch, and then set the hook and, and away you go. A lot of times you'll see that bait sink, you'll see fish charge straight up on it, which is usually a good indicator that they're going to eat because they're coming out for a look, but if you don't see that happen, just let it sink a bit further, just let it do its thing. Don't keep any weight on it. So if you've got the opportunity to fish areas like this, a lot of these catamaran styles, these the twin hull sort of setups, we've got a gap under the boat. We'll often just have fish just cruising around, lazing about in the shade. We'll try and skip a cast right up under there and see if we can pull one out. Same deal, slack line, that shot up in under there. Keep an eye on that line. Caught a glimpse of a few fish come out, but oh, there's a brimmage come up on it. So I've seen him that time, and he's gone away. So that was when I brought that lure back up so I could get a glimpse. Saw a fish come up after it. Try and give it some slack line, let that sink back down. Come up, he had a good look. You probably caught a glimpse of me. It's pretty sunny. I'll probably, I'll probably stand out pretty well standing as close to the edge. Flick that back up till I see it. No followers, we'll make another cast. So there's our first brim, just fishing the Eco Gear BP50, lightly weighted on an Eco Gear brim ahead. Only a tiny guy, but I skipped that cast in, it bounced up, it shot over a rope, got around one of the fenders, as soon as it started to drop down, he's just clunked it, set the hook, dodged a rope, where we go. Hook's out, fish is back. and skipped and bounced and ricocheted up into there. A lot of the time that, that's going to draw fish up. You know, it's like a, a prawn flicking across the surface. Once we've got it in there, I just keep giving it a bit of slack line. Just watch it sink. If something's going to happen, you're going to see it in that line before you feel it the rod. A nice bit of shade next to this houseboat here. Between two boats, it's not always where the fish are going to hang. They, they really like where the, the pontoon and the boat meet, but a lot of shade here due to the angle of the sun, but we'll get a cast up there. Again, same deal. Get that line on the surface. Keep a little belly in it. Just watch that slack line. If the fish hits it, you'll, you'll notice that line will just take off. And then just bring it back up. 
you almost represent that bait to new fish. Skip it again across the surface, bring it in, and then let it drift back down. So we've just picked another little spot where we're going to make a cast. It's up against the, the dock and the boat. We've got a few fenders and things to get past. But if you can get a cast, skip it right up into that little shadow line and just let that brim form, uh, BP50 just slowly waft down. You should be able to entice a bite. Let that skip in. That will usually bring a few fish up and get their attention. Just watch that belly. Watch that slack line. Wait for it to take up. Every now and then you can just give it a little flick. Bring it back into contact, get some more slack line. Just let it start to sink away again. So you can see we've got a big patch of open water here. Most of the time the fish aren't going to sit out there. Unless the bait's there, or there's a good reason to get out there. They're going to stay in tight, hanging real close to structure. So we've got a nice little skinny gap up here. There's a couple of ropes, a couple of fenders, but I, I can get a cast in there. And that's predominantly where I'm going to pull most of my fish out of, so that's where I'm going to keep my cast, so we'll put one in there. So I've just skip my brim prawn up into the back edge of that boat and that dock where they meet, it's under a fender. Just watching my line as that slowly sinks down. Fish has come out on that, I've been watching that as it's come back up. If I just let that sink back as natural as possible, it'll get to a depth where that line and that fish will be more comfortable and it might come back and have another go. Yeah. I'm just going to cast it in, throw that little boat over there and see if the brim don't come out for it. So that fish got the better of me. I got a face scale and I got no plastic. I'll go again though. Slack line, there we go. <laughs> Alright, that was four pound hitting a boat hole. Damn it! So I skipped that cast up into the death zone. I don't know where that went, it went up under the fenders and. Yep. That was the death zone. Right where you want to get a cast. This is a good fish, he's... Where's the pylon? Just grab that and take it off. I packed the drag off because... Uh, only on light leader and there are pylons all around here with barnacles and whatnot. But that guy got four pound leader around something down there. I thought I had him clear. Damn it! I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm just going to pick this little pier to pieces. Skipping cars up under every little boat, every little corner. Eventually, they're going to jump on. A lot of the time, where these uh, these fingers end and the, the ramps come down, there's a lot of conduit stuff when they run power out onto the, onto the docks. Trying to make the cast to the corner there, you've got a lot of conduit pipe and stuff hanging in the water. Usually, get a few fish hanging around that. It's a little wide, so I'll flip that back in close. Let it sink down, but there's a fish straight on that. Oh. Big guy spooked, he was all over that. As soon as the big guy spooked, all his mates wiped up. Uh, I'll try and present to those fish again. The big guy charged out on it. As soon as he spooked, all the other fish copy. I'll try again. So those fish, those fish wised up really quick. So just continue along this dock. I'm just gonna keep picking this place to pieces. Uh, just keep making casts. But a couple of fish now bust me off. Really light line, close to structure. Like some of these gaps, I've got half a foot to work with once I hook up. So it's just a matter of keeping at it. Uh, just keep 
Look in that bait in the water. Really light gear, lightweight. Fish eventually just gonna suck that up. The thing with this kind of fishing is too, if you get that cast in there and it skips along and it starts to sink, if there's fish there, they're gonna come straight out and crash onto that. Like if you have to let it sink for a fair while, typically they're just not gonna do that. I saw those fish come charging out. Again, I'm still a light leader. He's not a huge fish. I'll back him off, I don't want to pop him off. That time, as soon as that skip cast went in, it went skipsy skip, and the fish just charged up. They're right in a little sunny pocket I can see underneath. You just know they're going to commit. Definitely not the size of one of the bigger ones I saw charge out, but we'll take it. That's just a little guy. So that's that unweighted technique. Unweighted, unweighted. BP50, light leader. Just keep skipping it into those tight corners. Just allow the bait to attract the fish. As soon as you start moving and twitching it, if they see it, if it moves unnatural to them, they just don't want to bar it. If it's slowly sinking, they just think it's dead. It's on its way out and uh, can't help themselves. If they get close enough, you've got the amino acids in these baits that their chemo receptors pick up on, so that kind of helps cinch, you know, seal the deal. But just that slow sink, it just starts sinking out of sight and they just charge down, they're all over it. There you go, bring on unweighted BP50s. Fish under the, sitting right here. I'm just mooching around under the back of this boat, mate. I'll just try and lob one in real down the lake. I could see him and his mate sitting in there. Dropped it right on their heads. Lightly weighted, BP50, sinking down, natural sink. They can't argue, they're gonna eat it nearly every time. All right, there's one of those fish, we're just sitting in the back of that boat. Usually when uh, they're sitting like that with a group of mates, you know, that pack mentality kicks in. Every man for himself. They always commit, they charge out, competition for food. And they scoff that little BP50. 